Hello there everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? I hope things are well. If you are new here, welcome. How's it going? My name is Achola and here on Achola's Closet, we talk personal style and how to look and feel amazing at any budget. For today's video, as you can tell from the title, it is a thrift store haul. Before we dive into the video, first I would like to say I am honestly sorry for not uploading any videos for the last couple of weeks. To be honest with you, your girl has just been slacking. Like I tell myself every day, I'm going to shoot a video tomorrow and then I get up and um, you know, I get caught up doing things that honestly has nothing to do with videos. And before you know it, it's the end of the day. But we are back and um, I hope you guys are ready. I'm gonna try, at least for this week, I'm gonna try and pump out more videos, maybe every day. I'm not promising, but if I can, I will put videos out here for you guys every day from now on. So for the outfit of the day, just in case you are wondering, my blazer, this gorgeous tropical print blazer, I bought it from Simon's. It's about a couple of years old now, and I'm just pairing it with this cute, little blue dress now the dress was gifted to me by my employer back in cairo egypt so that's about 15 years ago and honestly it never fit better now to the video so here's the thing i went to value village on saturday i initially went in to find plant pots for my new babies I know I'm a plant mama now and um, honestly my boyfriend is already scared for these two he thinks that I'm going to kill them but I don't blame him <laughs> you know a couple of years ago we bought a plant that we named money somehow I managed to kill money but I've been trying to uh, you know bring her back to life I don't know how to Maybe I need to change the soil or something because I don't think she's completely dead. You know what I mean? So if you guys have any suggestions on like how to bring plants back, let me know. So I didn't find any pots that I really liked for my plants. However, I found a couple of things that I want to share with you because these things I've been wanting them since the beginning of the season, honestly. And let's dive right into it. So for the first item, I've been looking for some beaded handbags, you know, like the shrimp ones. Now, I love the shrimp handbags, but I don't love the price. And um, I knew that if I looked around long enough, I should be able to find one somewhere, you know. So while I was at Valley Village, I was walking around. I thought, why don't we go to the handbag section and see what we can find? And guess what so I came across this bag here now it is a forever 21 bag I don't know how much they're selling it for at forever 21 but I bought it for eight dollars and 99 cents I love the handles I love the size I love the mixture of the beige hem I love the mixture of the beige beads with the red. I think it just, you know, makes it pop a little more. And I also love the size. Like it's, you know, I can fit my phone, few things that I need for the day, even a scarf. If you fold it, you can just fit it in there. But of course, I'm going to have to be careful about what I put in here as those holes are a little bit, you know, <laughs> they're a little bit big so things might fall off so I have to be careful about what I put in this handbag in particular but I absolutely love it and I can definitely style it with a lot of things even with this outfit right here I think it just makes the whole look pop more you know what I mean but um, you can also you know imagine this with a white summer dress and this one as your, you know, texture or a statement piece and a pop of color. So next up, you know, I had to pass by shoe section to get to the handbags. And while I was in shoes, I was 
torn. I found a couple of new pairs that I really liked and um, one of them was $19.99 and the other one was $6.50. And um, you know, the difference was the $20 one was like this rainbow print python with like chunky gold heels and then the second one that I ended up getting <laughs> is this one right here it's just the cheetah with the black in the back that I really love now here's the reasons I bought this one so first I love the style you know like I have a lot of shoes in like similar styles so you can tell I have you know I have a type when it comes to shoes and the second part is that like even though it is high heels it's not extremely high like the gold one the gold one had the platform here and then you had about six inches high heel and you know in the last couple of years I've decided they're just useless I don't wear them that much except for my red boots yes but um you know for everything else i decided i'm just gonna go with you know just your classic high heel shoes i don't need platforms anymore third reason you know i don't have a cheetah print shoes in my closet and so this one just made a lot more sense and also for the price so here's a couple of things you want to think about when you go thrift shopping you know first know that it's not going to be just a quick in and out type of thing okay so you're gonna go in there you're gonna end up spending some time you know in the thrift store just to find things and the second thing is have a list you know like either a physical list or just you know more of a mental list just just so you know what you're looking for so if you're looking for a certain dress then you can literally just go in there go to your dresses section and see what you can find if you are looking for jeans or if you're looking for handbags then you know where to go in the store you know what i mean and um last but not least definitely set a budget you know and um you also want to remind yourself of you know how much more can i really you know stretch my budget or you know for me on Saturday I just I wasn't really going to stretch my budget I think my budget was about between 50 and 60 dollars and that was it I'm not I wasn't going to spend a lot more than 50 or 60 dollars and um, back to the shoes though so when it came to both shoes even though I love them I just I couldn't pay twenty dollars for the other one whereas the seven dollars just made a lot more sense for my budget and I know that I will wear this one a lot more than the other one <laughs> for the next item you guys remember my 2020 spring summer fashion trend video and I mentioned that when it comes to the pleather or summer leather trend i will be looking for some trench coat and a blazer you know because i feel like i need that more than anything else like i have a shirt i have pants i have skirts and dresses and whatnot so i just you know i know that i need a blazer and a jacket in my closet and since i you know got rid of my black jacket i knew i need to get a new leather trench so while I was there, I remember I was like, hey, let's take a look in the coat section. Maybe we'll find a leather jacket. And guess what? We, <laughs> I know, I found one. Now, this is just stunning. Like, I love this jacket. The fit is beautiful. I love the little stitching details on it I love the belt and as you can see from the picture oh yes I already shot it <laughs> so but no I absolutely love this jacket it's a hundred percent leather now if you go to a leather store these jackets are usually a couple of hundreds at least and they go up to like let's say maybe a thousand dollars 
but I picked it up for right for twenty nine and ninety nine cents. So for thirty dollars, I was just like, you know what? You're coming with me, and we're not even going to be talking about this. That was it. But I absolutely love this jacket, and I am beyond happy. Now to the last item. It is another one of the items from my want list. So one of the other things that I was looking for for the last couple of months is a pair of short shorts, you know, because I have, you know, I just, I need shorts in my closet, especially denim shorts, because as of now, I don't have anything at all, which is sad thought I'll go to the shorts section and see if I can find you know some nice pair of short shorts because I've been looking online for the last couple of months and nothing is honestly jumping out at me and um, while I was there I you know I couldn't find any denim shorts that I like now they have plenty of shorts like beautiful shorts for, from Bermuda to just nice denim shorts to hot pants any type of short short you want I just I didn't really like any of them and um, while I was there though I came I know I came across this pleather shorts here that I am currently obsessed with now I know I just love the pleather because of the material you know it just gives you a little rocker vibe to your outfit being that it's leather now this one is just simple no pockets on it or anything let me show you how i am going to be styling this one and now when it comes to the shorts i absolutely love the shorts i love the length i like how it feels on it's very light very comfortable and um, the waist is a little bit high waisted so it comes up to my belly button now keeping it sexy and cool now this top I picked it up from winners a couple of summers ago and um, I absolutely love it it's one of my favorite to go to shirts but of course the shorts I'll be wearing it with t-shirts and my button-up shirts and things like that now depending on where I'm going, if it's just a walk or a trip to the grocery store, I will definitely pair it with my Zara Chunky sneakers. However, if let's say it's more of a dressy, casual type of look, then I will complete it with, I know, the same blazer or even just a plain black a plain black white just any type of blazer I love pairing blazers with shorts and things like that just to dress it up a little bit now for shoes to complete it off this one here or just the plain black or even just plain red but I love the mixture of the prints and um, but yeah it just makes the whole outfit just a little bit more interesting you know it adds an interest to the look which I love and that is it for uh, today's video thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed don't forget to hit that like button if you like it also hit on that subscribe button if you haven't already hit on the bell so you get notified every time I drop a video let me know which one is your favorite by commenting down below and also feel free to share this video with your friends and family but with that you have a great rest of the day and i will see you later bye